30 World War II planes from five states took part in the weekend air show, performing various acrobatic feats and aerial formations. A top attraction among the Warbird pilots is Merle Gustafson of Tallulah, Louisiana, who is known as the top Corsair flyer in the country. That's where I got my experience with flying crop dust that I sprayed for 24 years and built up most of my flying time and every guy that ever flew always wanted a warbird and I happened to be one of the lucky few that was able to catch them back at the time when they were affordable. Being able to handle something 400 miles an hour out here and uh, handle it like it's supposed to be done and it's a challenge every day because it seemed like you learn a new trick in it every day and a new quirk about it and how it flies and uh, excitement of challenge of uh, exciting other people probably does as much as anything. Gustafson's son is also in the act and is the youngest of the Warbird pilots. Uh, I just had to keep bugging him and bugging him until he let me and then I been in it ever since. Love it. The two-hour show ended with hats off for the missing man formation in honor of those who have died.